Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. Um, so, this is really interesting. This is kind of fascinating. I don't know if you knew this, uh, but in Christianity, in, in the church, curiosity is often considered to be a vice. Um, it's the opposite of a virtue, right? Um, and now, I, here's one of the things. You might be sitting there going like, no, no, it doesn't surprise, doesn't surprise me at all that, yeah, the church just wants to suppress the truth and just want people thinking for themselves. Well, if that's what you think, I don't know how to say this, but you're wrong. Here's the deal. Um, curiosity. It's the most natural thing in the world, right? We could define curiosity as just the desire to know. I, the, when, I have, when I'm feeling curious, what is it I'm feeling? I'm feeling a desire to know. And whether that's, I want to know the details. I want to know the truth. I want to know the story. I want to know what's going on. Or even just like I look at the universe and I want to know. So that in and of itself is not wrong, right? Obviously. The desire to know is a can be a decent thing. In fact, let's get even more precise. Knowledge is always a good. Knowledge is always a good. Like that, that um, to know rather than not to know, to know the truth rather than a falsehood or a distortion of the truth, that's always going to be good. The questions come in where like, is that a knowledge, is that a truth that, that I should know? Is that something I deserve to know? Like for example, someone else's business, right? So here's what it comes down to, is knowledge is a good, but Curiosity is a distortion of either the motivation for the pursuit of that good or the method, the way in which I go pursue that good. Let's say that, say that again because I think it's important. Knowledge is a good. Curiosity is when I've misused either the method or the motivation. Here's what, I mean, think about this. So, so, so back in the day, St. Thomas Aquinas, super smart guy, he said curiosity can be vice. Why? Because he said that here's all the, here, the ways in which the motivation, so I guess the motivation, for which people can misuse their pursuit of knowledge. Uh, for example, I desire to know something that is none of my business. That's big gossip, right? I desire to know uh, something about someone else's, a detail about someone else's life. That's none of my business. That would be a misuse of the desire to know. Curiosity, the vice. Um, another way, way he talks about, he says that um, the desire to appear to be smarter than one is. Actually, in his context, he talked about uh, the certain monks, um, that was he's living in a monastery, who go to certain sections of the library to just kind of get a little tidbit of information so they could pass themselves off as knowing a lot about a lot, as opposed to like what he would say was virtuous, which would be to learn the whole thing, like to not just have a little dabble in this and dabble in that, but to like say, actually, let's get down to it. Let's find out the truth of the matter rather than kind of pretend to know the truth. The motivation, if my motivation is I want to appear smarter than I am, and deceive someone, that would be uh, deception and vanity, right? We'd be motivating that. Thomas Aquinas also dis, 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 uh, discussed, dis, 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 described, St. Thomas also <laughs> described some of the, like, the methods by which um, we feed curiosity. That we often, as human beings, we just want to know, we just want to know, we just want to know, and exchange just wanting to know the next thing for the more important thing that is our business right now. In fact, he has some really harsh words for priests, he says, who have been given the great task of prayer and of studying the scripture, but instead, um, because of curiosity, they just read the latest ballad or they just uh, go uh, read the latest play or whatever novel. And he's like, and I'm like thinking about this going, oh, I don't read any many ballads these days. I don't read many plays. Novels, sure, uh, but like, wow, Netflix. What's the latest show? What's the latest thing? And that curiosity, because everyone's talking about this show. I gotta check out this show to the detriment of the work that's been entrusted to me or other priests or maybe you in your life, in your context. Curiosity can be compared to um, intemperance in eating, gluttony. And we've all been there, right? Where we, when it comes to food and we're just like, uh, I'm eating, why are you eating? Because it's there. Is it like nourishing you? Well, I mean, kind of, but not really, because it's a Dorito. Um, it, but, but, it's, but it's there, and so I'm, I'm, I'm eating it. As opposed to sitting down to a good meal. I mean, this is the difference between the, virtue, the vice of curiosity and its opposing virtue. The vice of curiosity is that kind of sense of like a gay gluttony, or here's a bunch of Doritos, and I'm eating them because they're there, and they're distracting me. Versus sitting down for a meal where you feed yourself, you nourish yourself, knowing that later on you'll come back and have another meal. But right now you're nourishing yourself. That's why Thomas Aquinas is just so, so intelligent that he pointed out that the opposing virtue to the vice of curiosity is not like humility, it's not thinking small, 
The opposing virtue is what he called studiousness. Studiousness is knowledge pursued well. Just three, three words. Studiousness is knowledge pursued well. So you're pursuing knowledge uh, for the right reasons. Motivation is correct and your method is correct. So again, keep this in mind. To say that curiosity is advice is not to say you can't ask big questions. To say curiosity is advice is not to say like, you know, don't uh, develop the next uh, iPhone or the next thing after the internet or the space race or whatever the thing is. Curiosity says don't flip from thing to thing to thing. Be studious. They ask the big questions, but they don't just give up on asking the big questions until they've dug all the way through this. How many times have you and I had been given a great task, maybe a work to do, something that studiousness would have really paid off if we just would have stuck to it, but instead of sticking to it, we're like, oh, what's over there? I mean, this is the reason why terms like, as I said before, clickbait exist. This is the reason why YouTube trails are a part of our lives is because, ow, I went to the internet because I wanted to find out about this really important thing that's worth asking questions about, but instead of sticking with it, I just went on the, on the next thing, into the next thing, into the next thing, and I frittered, I frittered my time away. Curiosity is the vice of fritterers, whereas studiousness is the virtue of great minds. And this is the thing, God has given you a great mind. And because God has given you a great mind, we can't afford to simply be curious. We should be studious. Here's the last thing. Curiosity is also connected to the vice of acedia. I have another video about acedia. And the CD is basically, I want to be somewhere else doing something else. And so all of us have to be part of the, battling ourselves in, in all of this to say, okay, what is it that the Lord has called me to do right now? What is he, what's, what's the big question he's asked me to ask right now? That he's inviting me to learn more, that he's inviting me to explore more, that he's inviting me to ask more. In fact, um, as Christians, we can't afford not to ask big questions. Why? Because we know that our entire religion is based off of the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That we want to know the truth. In fact, um, what is the first lines of John's Gospel? Say, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was God, the Word was with God. Who is that Word? Logos, or reason. Like, again, one of the things that has driven Christians, Catholics, all over the, across the centuries to actually develop the scientific method to ask the big questions has been the fact that our God is the God of truth who wants us to ask questions, who desires us to come to the knowledge not only of him but of the world that he created. So asking questions, super good. It's actually baseline for being a Catholic. Curiosity, at the beginning, I want to know, the, I want to know. wonderful. But it has to lead to studiousness, which is knowledge pursued well. From all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.